Do you ever feel like everything you've been praying for, everything you've been asking God for, is closer than you think? You can feel it. You can sense it. It's as if you can almost touch it, like it can come at any moment. God spoke to me and said, it is. It's already here. Keep praying because your prayers will navigate you. Stay devoted to God's word and pray without ceasing because every spiritual blessing is already yours. So this is day six of something new, of me growing with God on a deeper level, speaking and decreeing the abundance over my life, and really just connecting with God. Colossians 4.2 says, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. And that word devote is just basically giving all or majority of your time to something. And the Bible talks about meditating on God's word day and night and also praying without ceasing. God has been really speaking to me about continuing to pray. And it's almost like what I've been praying for, it's almost as if I can touch it, I can feel it, I can taste it. I, I just, it's very weird to explain, but it's like it's right there and God says, keep praying. And so a while ago, I felt this same thing. God says, this is yours. And so it was this career that I wanted to go after, this job I wanted. And God says, it's yours, pray for it. And so what I did for three days, because I applied for this job a month ahead of time, didn't hear anything back. No one contacted me, nothing. And so I... I started praying and I fasted, but I didn't fast from food. What I did was I fasted from social media. I cut all my, I cut my phone off. I cut my phone off for three days. And so what I did was I just continually was seeking God, was praying. I wasn't complaining. I was praying as if it was already mine. I was thanking God. I was thankful. I was meditating on his word. I was reading the word of God. I was letting God know what his word says. I, I just, I was just in this mode of just prayer like Daniel was. I continue to pray. And the most amazing thing happened on that third day. Well, it was the fourth day that morning. I turned my phone on and I looked in my emails and I see that someone contacted me and said, we would like you, we would like to do an interview with you. And I was just praising God. I was so thankful. I got the position, but it was just, it was so amazing what God showed me, what prayer can do what devoting yourself to meditating on God's word and just praying, what that can do, how powerful that is. Because you can pray every day and then you hop on social media, you go and you hang out with someone and you're just constantly doing things, your mind's all over the place. And so your mind's not really focused too much on what you're praying about. If anything, it's worrying, wondering if what you prayed about will come to pass. And so I had to cut everything off and I cut it off and I just devoted my time to just seeking God, praying, praising God, laughing with joy, thanking God that it was mine and I got it. <laughs> I'm in a position now and I believe God is telling me you need to do the same things, but I switch it up a little bit because I have to make these videos and these videos are really helping me and encouraging me, but also it's God giving me a word every single day, reminding me of his promises, reminding me of who I am, who he is, but also taking things a little bit deeper and telling me who I am and what I'm capable of and the things that I will do and the things that I will put my hands to. And so right now, I, the, what I'm praying for, it's as if it's, I can feel it like just right there. <laughs> and God's like, it's yours. And so I have been really getting deeper in God's word, devoting my time to just thanking God, praising God, meditating on his word and getting it deep within me, rooted within me, not just so I can get something, but it is a posture, a position God wants me to always have to know that what I decree, what I ask for, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, what I ask for, what I rebuke, what I come against, it will be done by the power of my voice, but by the power of the Holy Spirit also working within me and through me. I believe it's really a time where all the preparation I went through, God is saying, now 
everything is about to happen. And it's as if I'm feeling, <laughs> it's as if I'm feeling like prepared. Like I, I spoke in my last videos that God was preparing me, but this time it's more of a get ready. And it's more of a, you know, stay ready, stay in prayer, stay in the word of God stay with that armor on you and so it's just it's just been an amazing time growing with god and just reading his word and getting revelation so there's this position that was presented to me and i looked at it and when i first looked at it i was like i don't know like is that me and i'm asking god god is that me like, do you say that that's me? Mind you, it's a director position. I'm like, God, is that me? <laughs> that's me, Lord. Is that me? And I'm just feeling like the Holy Spirit is saying, it's you. You are the director. You are the executive. You are that person who I will place in high positions. It is you. I've been preparing you for high positions. The story of Joseph, although Joseph went through things, he was always held at a high position. And so what I am really seeking God for is that position, but mainly it's not even about the physical position, but it's like a spiritual thing like, Lord, are you telling me that spiritually my position is held high? And that's... And it's really difficult to explain, but that's where I'm at right now is God showing me my position, that I am seated in high places. I just want to encourage you that what God says is for you, no matter how great it is, no matter how bigger than you it seems. If he says it's for you, it's for you. And what God will do is he will prepare you to take hold of it. He will prepare you for it. If he says it's yours, it's yours. God sees you as already able, but God has to take you on a journey sometimes, take you through some things for you to realize that you are able because God already sees that you are able to take on greater things, that you are able to stand in high positions, but he needs you to be able to understand that you are also able to do that that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Don't you know when God puts you in a position that you don't even have experience in, that you don't have a background in, that you've never held before, it seems above you. Don't you know that when the Holy Spirit starts working through you, that you will be able to do things beyond your own strength, beyond your own capabilities, because it's the Holy Spirit that God moving through you that strengthens you, that gives you wisdom and knowledge at a moment's notice when you need it. It's all God. And he helps you. He leads you. He guides you. He gives you the things that you need in your mind. If you're trying to create a business, wherever you're trying to go in life, whatever you're trying to start, whatever you're trying to do, God is able to give you everything you need for it. You're already, it's already in you. You're built for it. You go through the journey. You go through the preparation so that you can see who you are because God put everything in you. And he's going to show you who you are. He's going to help you. And he's helping you to realize that everything that you need is already within you. Now you got to bring it up and you got to bring it out. And you got to be that man or that woman of God that he says you are. I always say every morning I wake up and I say my prayers. I am who God says I am. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things that God says I can do. This was a really good video for me um, as I'm speaking. No one knows this, but sometimes as I speak, I get revelation and I don't get revelation. I don't get wisdom. There's times where I have to edit out where I'm like writing things down what God tells me, but a lot of my gifts don't activate until I start speaking. And so this video was very refreshing for me, but it was also amazing because God was literally speaking to me through this video as I opened my mouth. And I just want to let you know that not only is God going to hold you at high positions here in the natural, but you are already held in high positions in the spiritual. You are seated in high places. You are the head and not the tail above only and never beneath. God sees you as being up here, but he's gotta get your mind to catch up. You will walk by faith. <laughs> you 
having no fear, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. When God puts his spirit in you, and you start waking up and realizing that I can do all things, all things, that's when you really start moving by faith, not even caring what the world says, not caring what's in front of you, you move. You speak, the mountain moves out of your way. You walk, the, the way to get to the other side starts appearing just by you moving forward. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. God bless.